Hello, this is Patrick Sheffield. I'm the author of the Makeup Artist Suite of beauty plugins available from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Today I'd like to do a quick demonstration of the Smooth Skin plugin. Smooth Skin does just what its name implies. It allows the user to select skin tones and reduce unwanted textures like wrinkles or blemishes. In this tutorial, I'll be showing the use of the smoothing function. I'm demoing Smooth Skin in Final Cut Pro, but it also works in Apple Motion, Adobe Premiere Pro, and After Effects. I'll drag the plugin from the Sheffield Softworks group onto my footage. The first thing I'll do is switch the view from Final to Original so I can select my skin tones. Opening Skin Selection allows me to select Key Control to choose the skin tones by either color with the eyedropper or via the on-screen controls if you prefer. But this time I'll be using color. I'll now pick a color that's average for the colors I'd like to be affecting. So somewhere here on the young woman's cheek. Now I'll switch the view to selection to see the selection mask. You can see that the areas selected come through in color and the unselected areas are gray and blurred. I can adjust the selection mask with the sliders that affect the tolerances for hue, saturation, and luminance, and use the soften slider to include a wider range of skin tones. The harden slider makes the more faintly selected areas stronger. I can also use the blur slider to blur the selection mask. If needed, the dilate and erode sliders grow and shrink the selection mask. To achieve a natural looking result, it's best to make sure that the lips, eyes, and hair are not included in the selection mask. This will leave their texture unaffected by the smoothing process. We'll play through our clip now to ensure that the skin stays selected as the lighting changes. Once the selection is finished, I can switch the view to overlay to see the areas I'll be processing. In this view, I'll open the skin smoothing settings to bring up the lines slider, which will detect lines on her face and target them for increased smoothing. Now I can switch the view to final and see the results. I'll adjust the smoothing and detail levels to achieve the results I'm looking for. If I turn the detail too low, I'll get an unnatural plastic looking effect. With detail and smoothing both too high, the skin starts to look posterized and cartoonish. Around here looks good. For subtle fine tuning, you can adjust the amount of luminance and or color smoothing that goes on. Allowing a little bit of the original color to come through can lend a more natural variation to the skin tones. Similarly, Reducing the luminance smoothing can deal with situations where the unwanted variation is in skin coloration. Turning the plug-in on and off shows what effect smooth skin is having. This looks good, but I'd like to only affect her face and not the young man, so I can use a limit mask to fix that. Before turning on the limit mask, change the view from final to selection because the limit mask is not visible when the view is set to final. Turning on the Limit Mask checkbox makes the limit settings appear and unhiding them allows me to adjust the size, shape, and position of the mask to limit the processing to only her face. However, her face moves in this clip, so I could manually keyframe the position of the mask, but I'll turn on the Track checkbox and position the tracking area around her eye. I can use the limit offset to move the limit mask relative to the tracking area. Okay, I'll hit track and let the system do its work. Now the mask follows her face, but because the angle of her head changes and tracking only follows position, the limit mask isn't always where I'd like it to be. So I'll add some keyframes to the limit offset and angle settings to get a better matchup.
That's working now. Okay, I can switch the view to final and I'm done. This has been a tutorial on the use of the Smooth Skin plugin for the Makeup Artist suite of plugins from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Thanks for watching.